All right, let me finish going through example six and seven for 4.1b. These are more differential equation examples, solving differential equations. Suppose second derivative, f double prime is 6x plus 4. f prime of 0 is 3, f of 1 is equal to 5, to find f of x. And we're going to have to find, uh, go through the, uh, the integral process twice. Once to get from f double prime to f prime, and then another time to get from f prime to f of x. Okay. And to help distinguish the constants of integration, we're going to use plus c for the first constant, and then use plus k for the second constant integration. We're going to uh, find the indefinite inter integral twice, so we'll use plus c for the first and use plus k for the second. Okay, so we start off with f double prime. To find f prime, we simply go through our integral process, uh, going through power rule. So 6x squared over 2 plus 4x plus c. And now we're going to use f prime of 0 to help us solve for c because we have um, an ordered pair from f prime. So plug 3 in for f prime of x and plug 0 in for x. Solve for c and we get c is equal to 3. Now once we have c is equal to 3, now we have uh, the, the uh, specific uh, solution or the specific f prime of x being 3x squared plus 4x plus 3. Okay, so we're going to go through f, um, go through integral process again to get to f of x. So to get to f of x, we're going to find the integral of the right side. So 3x squared becomes 3x cubed over 3. 4x becomes 4x squared over 2, 3 becomes 3x, and then we have a constant again that's going to show up, but now we're going to use plus k. Now we're going to use our order pair, 1, 5 to find k. So plug 5 in for f of x, plug 1 in for x, and we get 5 to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus k. So k is simply equal to negative 1. Okay. So now we can replace k with negative 1, and we have our specific solution. Okay. All right, equals 7. Uh, given our second derivative is 12x plus 6, and we have two order pairs, g of 0, g of 4, and g of 1 equals negative 2, find g of x. Uh, this is a little bit different in the sense that we don't have an ordered pair for g prime of x. We have two order pairs. Um, for g of x. So we're going to have to hold on to both c and k as we go through our integral process. So let's um, start off. g prime of x, we go through integral process. 12x becomes 12x squared over 2. 6 becomes 6x. And then we have plus c. Okay. We don't have an ordered pair for g prime to allow us to solve for c yet. So we're going to have to go and keep con uh, continuing with our um, our uh, integral process. So to find g of x, we find the integral. Uh, so um, 6x squared becomes 6x cubed over 3. 6x becomes 6x squared over 2. c is a constant, becomes c times x. Okay. Whatever number this is, the uh, integral of a constant is simply constant times x. And then we're going to have plus k, and this is uh, the, the new constant integration that we're going to come across um, going through the integral twice. So we have our um, we have our general uh, e uh, equation, our general function. Now we're going to see uh, what information we can plug in to solve for c and then to solve for k. Now uh, the nice thing about this order pair is if I replace all my x value with 0, then I'm actually going to be able to solve for k because um, the x will cause all my constants to, uh, all my va uh, values to go away, including my c. So if I replace 0 in for x and 4 in for y, uh, sorry, 4 in for g of x, I'm going to have 4 is equal to 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus k. k is equal to 4. Okay, so this is convenient in the sense that we now have a value for k which will allow us to um, make, uh, make things easier when we're trying to solve for c. So we have a, uh, a specific solution that's uh, uh, in, 
in the process um, because we have K solved, now we need to solve for C. So we have this other order pair to help us solve C. Plug 1 in for X, plug negative 2 in for G of X, and we now have the only variable missing is C, so negative 2 equals 2 plus 3 plus C plus 4. Solve for C, C equals negative 11. So now we have both C and K um, solved. So we have a specific solution, uh, specific uh, equation uh, solution for G of X. Uh, 